Amazing. Daniela, thank you so much for coming to the show. I am thank you for inviting me. Of course, it's such a pleasure. <laughs> I'm truly in awe of all your manifestations. Um, I feel like the universe brought us together in such a magical way through that course that ended up leaving like a weekend. <laughs> I agree. But it's so crazy because you even said to me, you're like, I think I joined this course to meet you. And I was like, I asked my pendulum and it said to join that course. So I did. And I was like, whoa, I didn't join that course to join the course. I joined it to meet you and a couple other human soul family beings. Um, and yeah, it was, I mean, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful to have met you. <laughs> yeah. My life has never been the same. So let's put it that way. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. So yeah, you took a couple of my courses. You took Decoding Manifestation and you took Surrendering into Abundance. Yeah. And you have manifested I don't want to say more than anyone in those courses, but like, I might have to say more than anybody in those courses thus far. <laughs> I like literally cannot even fathom like what you have created using the tools and the activations and the magic that has come. So yeah, like I you love say You can't make this shit up. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> and make it up it's like just happened it's magic it's literally magic but more than that it's becoming an energetic match and setting the intentions and the letting the divine take care of the rest and I feel like the reason you've manifested so much is because a you're so committed to the activations and the work and b you're so attuned to surrendering and letting the divine take care of the details and not fighting that so it's just like boom 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 it's been for you so yeah I would love you to share um let's start with your some of your favorite manifestations <laughs> from the courses where do I start which one <laughs> no, right. uh, should I start the one in I think it was the first course I took in November. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it the um, stepping into abundance or was that? Surrendering the first in, it was surrendering into abundance. Surrendering into abundance. That was the first course I did with you. Yes. And um, I couldn't be present at one of your, um, of the day of the course, one of the uh and if, you know, one of the hours that we had together, I couldn't be present. So I had to listen to the replay. And um, that day, I, re I remember like it was yesterday. <laughs> it was a Wednesday and it was 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So uh, I listened to your activation. And in, in that activation, specifically, you said for us to embody and be that person that we would like to be. Like, who do we look up to? And as you already know, and the listeners might not, but uh, Regan Hillier is one of the absolute favor of mine, besides you, <laughs> um, on I manifestations. Like so I've been following her for a couple of years. And every time I look on her page, there is uh, her, Regan is out on these elaborate luxury vacations, uh, hotels, resorts, fabulous dinners, top restaurants. So when you said, imagine who you want to be like, I imagine I am Regan at these expensive restaurants. And I mean, I do go to expensive restaurants, but not at the top, top level. So that was 4 p.m. Uh, and I just didn't think anything of it. I was just imagining me in a restaurant, like eating fancy food and Four yeah. hours later, and this is how fast this thing, guys, uh, manifested, like literally four hours, about 8 p.m., I get a text from my husband saying, hey, honey, um, we were just invited uh, at one of our um, clients' uh, dinner. His wife passed away, and he's doing a uh, celebration of life on Saturday and is at this restaurant. Would you like me to say we're going? Mm -hmm. 
And I was like, did you think anything about it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, just say we're going. So then half an hour later, it hit me. Did I just manifest it going to this restaurant when I was in, in the activation that Jill was talking to us? Sure enough, I Googled a restaurant. I called my brother. He's an executive chef in Chicago. And I said, hey, I'm invited to this restaurant. What do you know about it? And he goes, oh, that's top five restaurants in the USA. Yes. My mind was blown away at that point. And in that moment, I had to text Jill. Text, text, text. <laughs> you won't believe it. This is like, this is happening. This just happened. That just happened. And turned out to be uh, on that Saturday, we went to this very expensive restaurant. And mm -hmm. there were only like 30 people there, a very small gathering. Yeah. This food was out of this world. Uh, and yeah. then I found out that we had our own waiter for the mm -hmm. two of us, one waiter. So there were like 15 waiters for 30 people, which was high <laughs> end. That's a vibe. <laughs> food was divine. Everything was divine. The price, my, my brother said the price to, for two people to one of these restaurants, it's about five to $600. Mm -hmm. Mind blowing. <laughs> You got gifted that. That's amazing. Yeah. I don't know if you know this, actually. I, I might have told you. I can't remember. We've had so many conversations. But Regan Hillier is actually was one of the one-on-one -on -one mentors for four years of one of my one-on-one -on -one mentors, who I also yeah. studied in quantum integration. <laughs> <laughs> of course, you chose Regan. Didn't even know you knew her at the time. And you said that. And I was like, oh, I love her. Yeah. That's amazing. That's um, how we found out, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I loved seeing those photos as well. Do you want to share any of, I mean, you like literally had so many that I'm like trying to keep track. <laughs> this and this and this and this. Do you want to share any, um, oh, I'd love to talk about Reese, but let's talk about that one after because I haven't heard about that one yet other than the photos. Um, do you want to share any of like the financial ones? Uh, Whether it was like tips from customers or... Yeah, so <laughs> yeah, all been a lot of abundance. After I think it was a different activation. I think this one was after the second course I did with you. Um, mm -hmm. I think again it was a Wednesday, and by the weekend, again the activation was about abundance, bringing it into your life, be open, the receiving, surrender. And I did all that and I did the activation daily. And in a period of a few days, literally probably three to four days by the weekend, mm -hmm. I manifested in probably the amount of 20 grand, $20,000 <laughs> in different areas. So it's not just yeah. all in one place. Yeah. So either through jobs, like literally I own a company, jobs came in from clients um, over, just literally overnight, like $2,000, $3,000 jobs that I never even heard of these people. They just showed up. Mm -hmm. um, my husband winning something at the casino, <laughs> literally uh, with 20 bucks, uh, he won 10 grand. So that was... <laughs> three days after the activation. So again, what I realized, money doesn't all have to come through you directly. Like I don't have to manifest, it comes through other people. Like mm -hmm. I realized it, it's, I'm, I'm probably the source, but it comes through other people. So yes. it, it's through clients, through, um, and then also uh, I own Airbnbs and my Airbnb literally got booked for like probably two or three grand in those two days. Again, mm -hmm. out of nowhere. <laughs> so when you put it all together, after I calculated, I told Jill, I said, I can't believe it. Like everything put together, it's probably like 20 grand in a couple mm -hmm. of days. And they all came in from different sources. I remember, okay, I want to talk about this a little bit because I remember I was at a retreat and you had done, I think it was during the shamanic breathwork clearing that we did. 
um, during the course and like you were, or no, it was the activation and you weren't feeling well after. And I was like, I was like, this is normal. It's an ascension symptom. Just like take a bath. Um, and then you started feeling a bit better. And then I was at a retreat facilitating. So like, I didn't have access to my phone because it was in the state and like, it was in the middle of nowhere. So basically like I didn't have internet for most of it. I had internet a little bit, like when we were out in the town, but uh, for most of it, I didn't have internet. And then I like, I'm like on my way back and I like see your text and you're like, and this happened. And I'm like, holy Toledo, like, it was like, <laughs> manifestation after manifestation more abundance and more abundance and more abundance and like it all came in different ways and that's one of the 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 keys is like it's not reliant on a job on a bonus on a client on on a investment like when we when we rely on like a job which like society wants us to believe a specific job a salary a bonus a client a like whatever, we're missing the source. Like we are the source, you are the source. The codes that you've unlocked and become an energetic match to is the source. So like, I'm so glad you say that because so many people are like, oh, it has to come from this one and then get attached and then they're in scarcity. And I'm like, no, like I, I mean, I've created a lot of financial abundance and it's just gonna get more and more and more. But like most of my abundance I'm realizing hasn't even come monetarily. It's like being gifted like, so many like like I've invested in a lot in courses and coaches and mentors but like I've also got gifted them like randomly after I paid they're like refund it happened a couple of weeks ago a course that I haven't even taken yet that I signed up for like two months ago it starts in a month they're like oh we actually want to just refund you for this it's a gift from so and so and I'm like <laughs> and like like or like uh, like trauma healing sessions like I lost I'm a ton of those like things that happened, mini ones. I lost count of the mini things that abundance that come in, like all kinds of like refunds, you know, people like sending me money back or those are so smaller things because the bigger one are just taking over, I guess. (laughs) Right. And sometimes we forget about these. And that's another thing I I always celebrate. Like I'm doing a, I was going to say, I always celebrate the tiniest thing to the largest thing. And I'm in gratitude for every literally because it's all the same. It's all energy. And if we don't have gratitude for the small ones, then we're not going to have gratitude for the big ones. Like I'm doing a masterclass coming up at the end of the month and it's $35. And like the payments of $35 that are coming in, I'm like, yay, yay. And like more, I mean, it's, I'm in so much gratitude and I'm so excited for like everybody who's coming. It's going to be potent, but like, we have to celebrate the small ones. Like when I get a $10,000 payment, it's like the same gratitude I have for that as a $38 payment. Like it's the same gratitude. And I think sometimes people lose sight of that, but it's money's energy. It's a relationship that we have with this thing. And abundance isn't just about money. Like I look at my life and I'm like, the other month I was like, I I basically manifested $70,000 US, but that was not in cash. Some of it was, but a small portion. I wasn't even working that month. And I'm like, how did all this, like in the form of gifts, I'm like, how did this come in? But it's because like I've unlocked those codes and- Whenever I give, even if it's free content, podcasts, um, stories, whatever, like people are getting value from that and it has to come back. It's a law of prosperity. Oh, yeah, we'll put up. <laughs> Always. Always. So then we become that energetic match and you're in love, which is the energy of giving from a full cup. Yes. And that just comes back. It's a frequency. Sorry, my hair. Um, well, match the frequency that you want, whatever you want to get, match that frequency. And then 100%. Whatever you want to get, it will be, you will pull it into your life. Pull it. Don't even Always. Pull it. Because your it's just a byproduct. Is. It's a byproduct of who you be, which is why like when you do the activations, you're literally recalibrating your energy body and your thought constructs and your emotions to that frequency. And then everything that happens is a byproduct of it. And you can't fake that. You can't your fake words, that. Your words, be the person before you become the person. Feel, feel, be like those words are like, like, um, um, 
hamster wheel in my head, you know, be the person before you become the person. So yes. I, uh, yeah, I would embody that person that I that I want to be. I want to see. I want to get. I want to have whatever it is the thing. Uh, I feel like I'm already that person, and then that one day, right, you wake up and you're actually that person. Yeah, and things just happen, and it's not the thing that we focus on. It's the who we be, and that thing becomes the byproduct. And doing the inner work, and doing the activations, and doing the recalibrations, and the trauma work, and the rewiring. And like learning these universal concepts and then everything just for starts to reflect it. Like I remember too, another time in the middle of a course, you're like, look, I just got gifted all of this China. Like, I don't know how much thousands of dollars of China. From same, from, literally from the same guy that we went for his, it's from his wife. Um, it was, it's like, probably I we looked it up. Yeah, the china was like I don't know, fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars. Each piece was three to four hundred dollars. Like each plate, I was like, wow, oh, this is yes. like expensive stuff. So yeah, and like you couldn't have anticipated how that was going to happen, and that's not your job. Yeah, your job. I, I'm separated. Like the how, I, I just be, and then I it seems like I attract into my life. Mm -hmm. and anything that I want. <laughs> it's so crazy because I'd actually love you to tell this story if you're open to it about um that like astronomical abundant tip that you got from one of your clients but I have a story if I may on that as well through my experience remind me which one that is okay the one I'll remind you in a second I'll just tell this first if that's okay. It's a similar story, but it's different. I just remembered it from years ago. The first time, well, one of the first times before I understood these laws or even knew about them or knew about energy or frequency, um, I remember it was like one moment where I was like, oh, if you think differently and you're in a different energy, then things reflect differently. And that was like, Again, before I ever studied any of the stuff, I was not into spirituality or energy healing or didn't even know what it was. But I was working at Cactus Club. It's this restaurant here. And I was working in the private dining room. And usually, like, like usually I would feel, oh, these people, like, want to save money. And it was illuminated to me the other day because we're buying new blinds for, for the apartment and the the woman kept being like, oh, but this one's cheaper. This one's cheaper. And I'm like, you're like, not really like in your abundant sales mindset here. You're literally <laughs> trying to subconsciously tell I, me. I catch that a lot in people. Oh, this is yeah. least expensive, the, the lowest. And I was like, I am not in the lowest. I am in the highest. I want the best, right? Literally, because it's frequency, right? So I was like, if yeah, I didn't tells you, right, that the salesperson is at the lower frequency because she she does she doesn't want to lose the sale. That's what got to me. Like that's yeah. what I got out of this, right? Yes, and she could have a better sale if she thought differently. Like I have no problem. It's my business expenses right now. And if I told myself this a year ago, I would have been like, <gasps> they're like $10,000 USD just to run my business with like mentorship, coaching, my team, all the databases I'm paying for. And I don't do sales ads. I don't even do ads or any of that stuff. But like, it's mostly a mentorship and coaching and, and trainings and my team. But like, for me, I would rather have, I'd rather pay like my OBM, 70 USD an hour um, to supervise like people she knows that she knows what they're doing and get good quality than like a VA that I can pay $5 an hour in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I used to do that. And guess what? Other than my goddaughter, who's amazing, but she has a full-time job. The, the quality, it's like, I'm not going to pay for the headache of someone not knowing what they're doing. And I got like, before I, I launched decoding manifestation, I literally had an initiation, which I always do. I got, I, I flew from coast or Cancun to Costa Rica on a discount airline. My passport got stolen. They locked me in a room for six days. And it was the airline who was evading the situation because they, it was illegal for them to let me on the airline and they didn't want to deal with it. So 
the reason that it took six days was because they were avoiding the government and like all like if they had just communicated I would have been out of there and we had no problem paying for my flight that was like the last time I ever did not appreciate abundance I was like thank god thank god otherwise I would have been stuck in there because we anyways we booked many flights back and I finally was able to get the last one and the other ones just it's, we didn't get the money back and it's fine but but like discount airlines and then my phone in the middle of my last launch for decoding manifestation my phone got sim, sim card swapped so all of a sudden i couldn't access my phone the phone company was a discount phone company that doesn't have an office so i lost access to my phone it was a disaster and i was like all these structures yeah that weren't in alignment these discount things because i used to be in a lot of scarcity my friend messaged me today because i was making fun of when i lived up rice and beans and she's like did you add spices and i was like no it was too cheap to even buy spices and that's yeah. true um but i would always look for what's the cheapest thing what's the cheapest thing and then i was like that hit me and my dad sat me down at christmas and he's like have you learned your lesson i'm like that I get what I pay for. And he was like, yeah, he's like, no more discount airlines, no more discount phone companies, no more discount anything. You get what you pay for. And it's so true. It's even when I give energy healing, if like I am, when I feel adequately compensated, I get like the transformation because of the energy is so much more powerful. When I feel depleted, I don't have the energy to cause that transformation. Same with like my business coach, like She's like, I have no energy of pe to even like pick up my, open my computer if the energy transfer isn't there. And I was like, I get it now. I get it because when people are compensated, like abundantly, they have ample energy to put into that thing. And so anyways, we'll go back to that story because this all ties in. When she was saying that, I was like, I don't want shitty quality because like that just brings a low vibration and everything's vibration. So if I'm in a low vibration, then I'm gonna get more of that low vibration and I'm gonna be depleted, like, no, thank you. And I like beauty. And so I was thinking at, of the time when I was at Cactus Con, it was the first moment I ever stepped into like abundance. Cause at that time I was in a lot of scarcity and we were doing a private party and they wanted champagne, these guys. And I knew who they were, they're billionaires. And the other server was like, oh, let's sell them this cheap one. And I was like, no, we're selling them Dom. It was the most expensive champagne. I'm like $400 to them. They appreciate quality over everything. $400 to them is nothing. They want quality. They want luxury. They booked out the private dining room. And she was like, she was like, oh no, I can't. And I'm like, trust me. I know these guys. I know what they desire. They will appreciate it. So we sold them a bunch of Dom. We made like a thousand dollars each that night. And I was like, that was awesome and they were happy they literally wow. invited us on like a private plane so we I didn't go but wow. but it's like and on their boat but it's like oh when you think in that way and you think in terms of quality like people of that vibration of that frequency of that level of abundance they want quality they don't care the cost because they don't see it in that way they see it in terms of frequency and the energy that's coming back to them so like that was the first time that I was like, oh, if you think differently, like maybe these people are abundant because they, they value their time, their energy and quality. And like, now I'm like, of course it is yeah. <laughs> because money is literally just energy. And if our life force energy is amplified, then we are amplified. Therefore we put out more and then we receive more. Um, but you own a, a business and one of your clients, um, the story, and I won't disclose the details. And if you want to, I would love that. But one of your, like you get really high end quality clients because you pay attention to detail because you give such phenomenal service. And I remember you texted me one day and you're like, whoa, I just got this. Like you released a client who was not in alignment, who was yes. not being respectful Yes. not energy match anymore and it was coming up after an activation i'm like release it yeah. oh You're i remember yes i remember exactly that. yes <laughs> yeah and then you got so many more clients that came in and one tipped you like more than that when the tip of this one client was more than that other client was paying you for like the whole day yes. do you want to tell that story yes so um 
I took my team to uh, one of our clients um, and um, I got the, as I was walking in the, in, in the house, I got this message that she is dropping me because this and that. It was just like, it, it didn't matter why she was dropping us, but it, it was also, it, it was the price. So she did drop us because of the price because she well, couldn't because believe that we raised our prices. Yeah. And it wasn't even that. Well, anyways, it wasn't I, a lot. It was just like I don't know, uh, eighty to one hundred dollars. It was just something that because it took longer, we had to charge more. Yeah, which is something she didn't get. So, uh, in the, in that moment, you know, something came over me. And uh, years ago, somebody did that to me, put me down because, um, I, you know, I was in the service business, and I said to myself, like. I will become so successful that nobody will ever put me down again like that. Yeah. So in the moment when the text came in with, as I was reading the email, I, I looked at the email and I said, Oh no, 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 no. Nobody's doing this to me again. I know my worth. I know my value. I know how much I'm worth. I know the clients are like braving about us. I am letting this client go in this moment, literally, it was just probably 8.30 in the morning. And I got outside, I went in my car, I literally got it out of my system because I was upset in that moment, right? I um, did some, you know, the EFT, the release. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just screaming it out, I'm like, no, 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 this is it, you're, I am, you're out of my uh, service. You're not a client anymore for me. So I let it go, right? Uh, I think two hours later, two hours later, I'm getting a text from another client, a, a new client. Hey, you got refer, you got, you've been referred by whatever so and so. Another hour later, another client, you got referred by so and so. It was like, what <laughs> is happening? I just let go, right? So I made, I, I realized I made space. Yes. For the new clients, they were ready to come in, but there was no space for them to come in. So the moment I released this one client, it was actually, they were always trouble. Every year we had trouble with them, like challenges, you know, every time they would return um, to Arizona, like it would be challenge after challenge with them. So I was like, okay, I was supposed to let them go a few years ago. I didn't learn the lesson. Now I learned the lesson. I stepped into my power. And I said, never again, this person's going to do this to me. So I let it go. And then clients started coming in, but not just one, two. Like, I think by the end of the couple of days, I think I had five clients, right? That, that I told you, I said, I, I, I got new, five new clients. I let, I let go one, five of them came in, including a large account and mind blowing, mind blowing. It was just, I released one and I think I got 10 times more of the money income in the business because I let one go. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, it was, you made space and you reset your standards. And as yes. your frequency was raising with the energy work. I remember what you said, like, yes. So one of the big jobs that we had, uh, the client gave, I think, $500 tip to me. Five hundred dollars. That's what it was. I right? think it was higher. Was that, I think that, I think it was like seven hundred something. So I have it, it, it was a big <laughs> tip that I never got like a, such a big tip from a client, and it was just like yeah. added to the amount of the invoice. And they said, "Hey, here is a tip. You guys were amazing," and it was more than the other clients would have paid me in that one uh, transaction. You know, so it was just, just the tip was more. Yeah. So. Yes. And that's how it works. Cause it was like, it was, so you raised your frequency yeah, and yeah. you're raising your standards and anything and that I was stood in my power. I noticed that one. Cause I stood in my power. Yeah. I did let somebody just step over. Yeah. And you were literally being like, it was like a small test by the universe. It's like, okay, my frequency is here now. My standards are here. Anything that wasn't resonance was going to like rear oh. its eye and be like, hi, and you stood in your power past the test and was like, okay, no, thank you. And then 10 X came with ease, grace, and flow of 
align clients who respect. I heard this from uh, K- I think Taylor Perry, the guy that makes all those Tyler Perry that makes all those movie. He said yeah. this in a speech, and it stayed with me. He said, "Some people come into your life for for a season, and some people, and some people cannot go to your next level with you. Mm-hmm. It's like a rocket ship. You know, when a rocket takes off." All those things that like fall off, those are the people that can't go to the next level that you're going to, the next vibration, the next altitude. And it just blew my mind. Oh my God, all these people that I lose, you know, clients that you lose, people in your life, friends, anybody, they're not ready to go to that next level where I'm going. So they just fall off the rocket ship. Yes, <laughs> yes. Great analogy, right? And it's, it's like, they can choose to maybe at some yes. point, but it has to be their choice. And it's not good or bad, but it's, it's like dead weight. This happens. Like I see this all, all the time. I've seen this with like, like, a, like clients that I've worked with, um, who are like calling in partners and like, they'll be like, I see the test. I'm like, okay, is this in resonance with exactly what you said, or is it not? And it'll be like, as their, the, their vibration will range raise their auric field is like so will start to be so luminous so people will be like coming in right and some of them won't be energetic matches to what they desire and I'm like you have to say no to that in order to be in the energy of the of the person and the moment they do it's like another one will come in or even for myself like it blows your mind it just blows your mind when that happens because you're like where did that come from I can't Like my husband had a saying going through all this. At one point he said to me, I have no idea what is going on. How, where are you going? What are you doing? And don't even try to explain it to me. I I see it, but I don't understand it. I don't get it. Yeah. You're just going somewhere. Like I have no idea what's going on in you with you. (laughs) Again, he sees it, but can't, he said, I can't explain it. I just can't explain. Like yeah. what is going on? That they, they, where are you doing? What are you being here? <laughs> Literally, and he doesn't need to understand it. All yeah. he sees is that it's happening, and you're manifesting through him and and with him, and like it's so beautiful. I, I like his his words when he starts with, "You won't believe what happened." This is what he said: "You won't <laughs> believe what happened," and I'm like, "Try me." I already believe, I said, I already, I already believe before it happened. I already mm-hmm. believe. So and that's Wayne why Dyer, Wayne Dyer used to have that, like, um, you know, when you say, Oh, I'll believe, I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. Well, you will see it when you believe it. So yes. I believe first and then things are showing up. So you, yes. I see them. So when he says you won't believe what happened, I'm like, try me. I already believed it. So Yes. Yes. And that's (laughs) that's such a a potent code because it's like, even like when I healed my eye in 3D reality, there is no time and space in the other dimensions. I had this conversation with a client earlier today. Um, There is no time and space in the other dimensions. So like I needed to say an experience that I was healed before it manifested here. When I had um, one of my students, well, you know, Carrie in the course also healed her eye. And I told her, I was like, I encourage you to reverb your, like what you're saying, because your words are your wand. You're, they're literally spell casting their spells that you, your eye is healed. I don't, people and, don't get that one. <laughs> yeah. And then it will manifest. And same thing with um, one of my students, she, she healed, she, she was in a bad car accident, experiencing a lot of pain in she took Reiki one and two and she'd come to us some other ceremonies. She messaged me after Reiki one and two. And she was like, oh my God, I was like a bit skeptical of the energy stuff, but I'm healed. My physiotherapist can't like, can't, um, Amazing. It, like they have no, they don't know what happened, but they're like, well, how did this happen? She's coming on the podcast in a few weeks. Uh, and she, anyways, the things also on, on my Instagram and in the Facebook group, I think I posted the testimonial there or the a little chat we had, but like, it's like, it's already done. You have to believe it without the evidence first. And then the evidence comes because 
It's this moment. It's not, oh, I'll do it when. It's you make the choice in this moment because there is no time and space in other dimensions. So if we're working from the quantum, we embody it now, we choose now, and then the resources show up. Like even for money, the amount of times that I'm like, I desire to take this course or do this mentorship or whatever. And I don't know where the money is coming from, but I'm deciding and then it appears. It's not like I'll do it when I have it. It's deciding and then it appears. Yeah. And then you will see like, Yeah, you couldn't yeah. even, you couldn't even like fathom. Like even when I went to Greece and Cyprus, I rollerbladed the seawall twice. I'm like, I'm worthy. I'm worthy. And I was bawling my eyes out. I had did not have the money, but I knew I needed to go. And when I made that choice within like less than two days, I got an acting check from a year and a half prior and it paid for my trip and more. And I was like, that was not a coincidence. Vision. So like we, we need to believe and embody in the now and then the energy and then everything else is a byproduct of that. Yeah. Your voice is still in my ear. Embody the person you want to be do have that person whatever that person has be you do whatever all that you kept saying that over and over and and just like it's rolling in my ear and i when i want something to be manifested i literally i close my eyes and i envision me having or doing or being in that place mm -hmm. speaking of greece <laughs> yes okay let's talk about greece <laughs> Those photos. I'm posting that as the cover of this episode. One oh of my God. This is, yeah, this was epic. Um, uh, let's start with the beginning of the story. Very short. Yeah. A few years ago, uh, I was on a cruise. I booked this cruise specifically because it was in the Mediterranean Sea and it was going through Santorini was one of the stops. And I saw pictures and I fell in love with Santorini about eight years ago. Yes. The morning before we were supposed to stop in Santorini for eight to 10 hours. That's what a stop like that does, right? They stop for each island like in about eight to 10 hours during the day. So before that, the waitress comes and says to me, have you heard? We're not going to Santorini anymore. And I like literally somebody that hit me with a brick. No way I booked this trip because of Santorini wow. this can't happen well ma'am there's high winds in Santorini they won't let any of the cruise ship get near the island we're going to a different island tomorrow I'm like no I literally cried I couldn't believe it I was just I can't believe this is happening to me back then my mindset was this happened to me yeah. So Little did I know, what I know now, of course, after a lot of work, that <laughs> happened for me. It didn't happen to me. Again, anything Always. that goes bad happens for you, not Always. to you. But in yeah. the moment, you can't see it. Yeah, you can't. So, even, sorry to interrupt, but this is important, I think. Yeah. Even when we understand this work, we don't know why something's happening for us. Mm -hmm. especially if it feels bad but we we can know okay it's happening for us like when I got detained like that happened for me I needed to see certain things or like when my dog got stolen that happened for me yeah why did I, <laughs> my eye. but I, but in the moment you don't know how, no you don't, you don't know and your mind doesn't let you go there because all but, your mind wants is you wanted this one thing and I I booked this for that one island I really wanted to see that one island to be on top of the island I that's where I saw myself blah 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 anyway so a few years passed by didn't think anything of it and um doing the work the inner work in the last few years and being with you and in all these courses I I did come to realize like one day I was like why did that happen for me? Why did Santorini not being on, you know, like was canceled happen for me? And what I come to realize that when it comes, whenever you're not even expecting it out of the wood, out of the like woodwork, right? Like coming from somewhere, you don't even realize how that happened. And sitting on my couch this past December, 
Mm -hmm. I'm uh, getting a text in a group with all my family members and it's a text from my niece and she says hello family members we're getting married and to be a center point for everyone in the world because we have people in five continents we're having it in Santorini Greece <laughs> <laughs> So in the moment I see Santorini, Greece, the thought of me asking that question, why did that happen for me? I was like, oh my God, this is why it happened for me. Because I wasn't supposed to be on that island for eight to 10 hours. One day, I'm going to Santorini for 10 days. <laughs> So I turned to my husband on the next couch and I said, honey, we're going to Santorini. And he goes, no, we're not. I'm not going to Santorini nowhere. I'm like, good, because I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. and literally I said, I'm going to take my two older daughter with me. And we're the three of us having a mother daughter uh, trip that we never had as adults. And we're going to Santorini. <laughs> and he said, fine just go I'm like no and then in that moment I literally said this is why I was supposed to see Santorini for 10 days not 10 hours so then I, I, it's been eight years since I've been on that cruise so think about it. this happened eight years later who knew right <laughs> And it's always looking back and you were supposed to go there with your daughters and the, get the beautiful yes. goddess photo shoot and you wouldn't have been able to appreciate it probably. I have, yes, I would not yeah. have appreciated Santorini the way I appreciated this time. Now, yeah. make a connection to your activation. When I did the activation and I was seeing Regan Hillier, right? Mm -hmm. One or two of the hotels that she was staying in was in Santorini. It was literally done photo shoot in Santorini. So I envisioned myself being, you know, at this high hotel on top of a mountain. Like literally, I had not been there, but I, down to the details, right? Because in, in, in envisioning and embodying, you feel, see, taste the details of that moment of you being that person jill and anyone else that's listening out there i envision myself at the ledge of like it, it was a clear glass i was imagining myself sitting there and looking over it's called the caldera view which is the sun where the sunset sets over the island of santorini and I was imagining myself being at this hotel with a negative edge pool with like literally like the whole nine yards I was imagining it and feeling it. And then when I looked for the hotel and I found this video and they were showing with a drone, they were showing this hotel. And I'm like, I had chills all over my body because I saw myself in that video. I saw myself sitting on that edge. I said, oh my God, this is the hotel. I've been looking for two weeks for the hotel. I found it on top of a cliff overlooking the sunset. Absolutely the most gorgeous place, negative edge pool, the, all the details. All, having breakfast on the terrace, I, couldn't believe it that I found the hotel. I booked it right away. And then let's say the last two weeks, I just came back. I got to this hotel mm -hmm. in Santorini, Greece with my daughters. And the first thing I did, guess what I did? I went to that edge, the glass ceiling, the glass that was separating, you know, the patio from going over the cliff. And I sat there and I looked and I actually had a nephew. He's actually going to be a director producer. He's going to school for that. And I had him videotape me and telling the story, telling exactly this story, 
how, you know, what happens eight years ago and how I envision and imagine me sitting at the edge of this. And I said in the video, I said, I was for eight years, I was envisioning embody that, that person that's me being here today on this edge of the cliff with the sunset and the negative edge pool. And you saw the pictures, Jill, come on, tell, tell the audience. You saw Literally. the pictures. So stunning. So stunning. And I think I messaged you. I was like, you're a goddess. And then then you're like, like this. And I literally like cried tears of joy. Like they are so beautiful. Only a goddess like you would understand. (laughs) Only a goddess like you would understand what I went through. Because people think, you know, but get it. How did she get there? How did she do, you know, if all this inner work, all these like mentors and, and coaches and mentors like you that s- supports us through all the, the inner work and all the activations that we do, right? But the, you, I can't even explain the moment. You had to be there. I will send you the video once um, my nephew gets it edited because he he literally videotaped everything I was saying in those moments. I said, I envisioned this for so many years. And this is, I am he, I'm actually here. Why? Because I embody that this person, the Daniela of, you know, of the Daniela that was on that ledge. It's not the same Daniela that was eight years ago, right? So I we stayed in Santorini for like a whole week. We went to the wedding, absolutely gorgeous place on the edge of a cliff again, the wedding. But one of the things that we did in Santorini with our, with my daughters was this, it's called Santorini flying dress. Now for anyone out there, goddess, whoever you call yourself, like just when you, if you ever get to Santorini, please look it up. It's a photo shoot. They dress you up on these absolutely gorgeous long gowns, like sheer. And with the wind that's up there on the island, the dress flies up into the air that makes you look like an absolute amazing star shoot photo shoot, right? Now, let's get to the colors of the dresses because we had choices. We had two choices of colors. Jill is already putting her hands on her face because she already (laughs) knows what happened. (laughs) So they gave me two colors to choose for. I chose light blue and I chose purple. Mm -hmm. Fuchsia, whatever, those two colors. Now, so I take, they take photos of us and I just got the edited copies and I'm looking at my dress flying in the air and all that, right? Um, next to these white and blue churches at the edge of the Caldera Santorini edge. And all of a sudden it hit me. Oh my God, hold on. Regan Hillier, the one that I've been talking about through whole, this whole podcast, right? She had a photo on her Facebook with a dress like that. I go to her Facebook account. I scrolled. Oh, I didn't even have to scroll down, actually. It's her top photo. It's her profile photo. It's Regan Hillier dressed up in one of those blue flying, blue, the same light blue color flying dress. And this is, this is to top every manifestation out there. So I must have seen Regan, uh, sometimes during my last few years, looking through her pictures, one of those pictures was in Santorini, was with a light blue dress. So what does that tell you? Jill, like, fill in the blanks. You literally <laughs> manifested it. And it's, there's so many, oh, I love you so much. I'm so happy for you. And I, I, I just, my, it was my mind blowing moment besides all the other mind blowing moments, but that, that moment when I saw the, like literally the same blue dress color in color, you know, not the same dress, but same blue color that's on her, it's on me. And, and Jill, you saw the pictures. 
so mind blowing. Actually, you said you're gonna put it on the podcast, so everybody. I'm gonna put it. it on this one, and if you send me the video, I can link it in the show notes so other people can get inspired. Yes, that's once, yeah, once we get it, yes. This is the power, and you touched on some really important messages. This is the power of this work, and people like look sometimes and like, oh, they just like they just got everything handed to them and yeah. blah, blah, blah. and it's like, yes, we can quantum leap and you're proof and I'm proof. And how does that happen? It happens through the inner work, through the activations, through Absolutely. the mentorship. I am like, open, be open to receiving, be open to receiving the activations, be open to listen yes. to the mentors and take part in these um, manifestation courses that you, you know, like people like mentors, like you do it, like you guys put it out there. Thank you. And it's like, it's like, it's so easy to just like, look and be like, oh, that couldn't happen for me. And it's like, exactly. Oh, oh, and do that all the time. Oh, she, she hasn't. No, I didn't have it made. Uh, the word made comes from uh, years ago. I was a maid. Okay. I'm thinking mm -hmm. about writing a book, Jill. Yes. You're going to hold me accountable to that. It's yes. called from made to self-made. That also could be a course. From made yeah. to self made. I love that. That is your motto. That could you could you should do a course on this too because like more people yeah. need these tools and need to know. And every like I've had many mentors. I've had many teachers. Like I said, one yes. of Regan one on one students and clients um, is one of my one on one mentors and was one of my teachers for one of my certifications. And I've worked with Dr. Connolly now and getting trained under him and like so it's, um, it's a teamwork teamwork <laughs> different teamwork teamwork. and like coaches like and some coaches I'm like okay yeah you broke my fear of investing myself and then other ones have been amazing yes. and it's just like there is no way you you must invest in yourself and that I was is going to say that the but I mean if you ask anybody what's the best inv investment that I've made it's invest in myself 100%. Not in, in real estate, not in anything, because investing in myself brought everything else that I have. Invest in yourself by attending, you know, courses like yours, but not just thinking, oh, it's, oh, it happened just to her. No, it didn't happen just to me because it could happen to, I was not, like, literally, I was making $60 a day and I had five little kids, okay? So when you make $60 a day, it's not enough to cover, to help, like, keep up with everything in the household. So from that to owning a business, having 12 to 14 employees at any given time, work for me, right? Having Airbnbs, having paid out homes, literally, we have real estate that's paid out. I mean, it's like mul talking about multiple streams of income. Yeah. And they keep on coming. And now I my passion is like to teach this and, and coach others. That yes. they, they, it, it, can, it can be done. It is anybody. I mean, I, I'm a stand for a transform world just like I you. love that me too and that's why we connected so much that yeah. we were so meant to meet and like that's it it's I remember there was one moment when I had like I literally would like live off rice and beans like I had joked about earlier but it was it was true I would be like well, what's the cheapest thing I would work three serving jobs no wonder mm -hmm. I was making shitty tips for the most part too because like I was in scarcity so I was yeah. putting out that energy so I was a match for it and then Anything that I did make, aside from my bills, which were very minimal because I was living so cheap and it made me sick actually to the point that I, I got really ill, but um, I would invest in the market. And then the market dropped 33% in one day during COVID. And I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? I'm wasting my life. I'm sacrificing my life. And I was like, I think I need to start investing in myself because that can't be taken away. Best investment. <laughs> Hands down, best and, investment. And like, it's not yeah, it's not just the money too. Like, yes, investing the money, but also like energy, like investing in. Okay, and for me, like the more I invest, typically the more committed I am to the transformation. Yeah. Like, I've invested in sessions that are forty five hundred dollars for a session, and like 
those have been the most profound transformation. Also, those people are very, very skilled at what they do. Um, but like, there is no way around if you want to change your life and, and like create abundance in all forms in, in friendships in, because that's a reflection. Your friendships are a reflection of who you be. If you have shitty friends, guess what? You're the common denominator. If you have amazing friends, guess what? You're the common denominator. How do you shift it? You invest in yourself. You transform yourself from the inside and out. You get yourself into rooms with people that, that know the stuff. People that yes. are like, you want to be in, you don't want to be uh, the smartest person in the room, right? You want to be in rooms where you constantly absorb and, and learn. And yeah. you and I are both, that kind of a person that we always want to know like more like this information and how do I change this and how do I do this and yeah and, and that's why we invest in, in in all kinds of mentors and coaches uh, and I say that's my my top you know go-to um yeah. thing yeah investing in myself it's the yeah. highest and I think there is a one of the philosophers said that uh, the highest investment that you can do is investing yourself I agree. It's the highest ROI on mm -hmm. all forms, especially yes. vibrationally. And then guess what? You're be you're open. Not. That's another thing. Because if you're constantly yeah. closed, like, I don't know if this is going to help me. Well, let it go. Let that go. Because that's what's holding you. Up. And then what happens, you create a situation and attract mentors and coaches. They're not going to help you. They're, they're not going to be good enough for you. Right? So yeah. when you shift out of that and be open, hey, I'm just going to be open here. I'm going to be open to Jill, to her activations, right? To whatever. That's when things are going to start working for you, not attracting all the others in your life. Yeah. And I think you're actually, I'm really glad you said that. I think there are some, there's definitely some courses and coaches and mentors who, who actually don't care and who actually don't have skills. And when you're a vibrational match to like, I don't know if it's going to work. And you're in that like yeah. negative lower energy, you're going to attract those ones. But as you transcend and you're in love and you're in expansion, you're going to attract the people that, that really do want to help you. And I actually experienced that at first. I was like, I don't know if this can work. I was in so much fear. And of course I attracted coaches and mentors. I was going to say, that's what you attracted. Yeah, we're right. Good. And that was a huge lesson. And then I was like, okay, you know, I'm going to do some more of my inner work. Um, Cause I was already like trained in energy healing and subconscious programming. And then from there I started being like, I want to invest from a place of expansion and this is a stretch for me, but I'm trusting. And I, I want the codes this person has. I want you their wisdom. You just said there, trust. Yeah. You and then yeah. exactly the right mentors and coaches and programs keep and teachers keep coming to me. It's not even have to go anywhere. They just like pop up and I'm like, Oh, cool. I just got connected. Yeah. To you, you know? And it's like, it's, they've been for, there's so many different types, like for different things. Now I'm getting more into like, like feminine masculine energies and like embracing like my feminine energy. I wasn't ready for that a, a while ago. Like I had to do other deep work. And so obviously I wasn't going to hire a mentor for that. And now that's like one thing that, and then obviously business and like, and like leveraging like my energy and my time and like continuing like trauma healing, but there's different levels. You're going to invest in different types of mentors and coaches. Yeah. If you, if you go on this path for different levels and there's always like, there's, there's always the next level. Next level. Mentor, yeah. hundred percent. And um, I'm definitely going to keep you accountable for holding that book. <laughs> I mean, for, I'm going to hold you accountable for writing Why do you that. think I spit it out? Because <laughs> once you say it, it's going to come to fruition. And um, yeah. well, this summer, it's um, the manuscript is starting to write. Yes, 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 yes. I have so many, uh, I mean, building the business, um, Literally, I had no idea ever, ever that this, whatever the business I have. And again, I was open to all kinds of mentors over the years. And then, of course, that led me to you, right? And one, another, one, another. And then it, we just met on a different group. But uh, from in the beginning, I had no idea that one day I'll be a business owner. And I don't have to actually be working at whatever my age is, <laughs> let's not go there. 
because my daughter when she saw the picture in Santorini with a flying dress said I have no idea mom like in this picture you look so young you, you look like us <laughs> really you could be their sister well, my, all my daughters family. are like they're like 38 and 36 so literally yeah. on the entire trip people thought we were sisters or friends and uh, you should have seen the faces when we said, no, she's, she would call me, mom, come over here, mom. And the people will say, your mom? What do you mean it's your mom? <laughs> no, she's my mom. Wait, I thought you're friends here. I'm <laughs> like, yeah, no, mom. <laughs> Literally, I should like interject a little clip in here. Guys, with energy work, you can- I, I think we also become younger. I don't know what it is, but- 100%. I think because the inner work reflects the outer world, the yeah. outer face also. Uh, I don't know, or I have good genes, but anyway. Uh, well, yeah. But seriously, I people, I'm 30 and people used to think I was 35 when I was like 22. And now they think I'm like- 19, 19 i kid you yeah, not ever. 19, 20. like you could you could almost be my granddaughter let's put it this way <laughs> my granddaughter is almost 16 so i have a granddaughter that's 16 yeah. yeah i can't wait to meet her i can't wait to visit arizona too i still haven't made it out but i will and i will let you know um but yeah it's this it, it's also like we're making new cells all the time so if our cells are vibrating at a higher frequency then like you're making They're vibrant cells. There literally, it is. <laughs> literally. So anyways, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, are there any last, last things that you want to share about manifestation, about your journey, about your book? <laughs> <laughs> yeah so you're the first person I told about this book just so you know it's it was in me until a few moments ago didn't tell anybody but I learned over a lot of different mentors you gotta speak it out say what you want say what you're gonna create in this world so so what I want to put out there is I've been um so I am a business owner I am all right I'm all that but there's this passion inside of me to to transformation like this world like if we are like that stand I, I feel like I'm a stand for a transformed world so yeah. any anyone that I come in contact with I have the ability to support them transform so it doesn't matter who's around me I always leave anyone better than I found them better than I found them either let them know, uh, help them with the manifestation. Whenever they talk about negative stuff, I always say, hey, like if you would say it this way, you will attract that in your life instead of negative. So there's a lot of negativity around us, as you already know. Um, so I'm always, um, I am being the light. I did have a dream once and I'll tell you quickly and I'll end up with this. Yeah. I was, it was a very crowded place, like the inauguration of one of our presidents. It was just literally thousands and thousands of people. And I was, we were all sitting down on chairs and there was a voice that said, it was a shiny bright light coming down. And somebody said, whose light is this? And inside of me, I said, oh my God, that is my light. That is my light that I'm supposed to shine on this world. And a lot of people got up. I looked around and I said, no, that is not their light. That is my light. And I got up and then everybody else sat down and I, I felt like the light was coming on me. And, and it said, the voice said, here, uh, you claimed your light, go and light up the world. I and I wrote that. I wrote the dream down with date and very all the details that was in the dream, um, because I feel like that that a few years ago I had the dream. So I feel like that dream is I'm a light in this world, and we are we are all lights in this world. We just get to find that light. So in my dream, I was given that light and I saw the light on me. And I'm like, you, you get to light up the world around you. Literally. And that's like, as you do that, mm -hmm. 
as I give you permission. You to others absolutely, and then it becomes we light up our world. We give permission to others to light up their world. I think um, Marianne Williamson says that. Yes, miracles. Yeah. Yes. You give permission to others to shine their light once you shine yours. So, yeah. Hundred percent. And a lot of people are afraid of shining their light because we're indoctrinated into it. I was that person. Not anymore. Yeah. I You're stepped into that. the new Daniela. Yes. The new version of yes. Daniela that travels the world now in style and <laughs> yes. Gets never in a million dreams I thought since I would be that person in Santorini. Yeah, and after I did your course, I literally saw myself there, like wow, mm-hmm. and I became it, and it happened. <laughs> I'm so excited too. I'm relaunching in. Um, well, you're in both. So surrendering into abundance and relaunching soon, which means you get all the added stuff because you're already in it. And the manifest manifestation, I'm relaunching in probably in the fall. I just don't know exact dates. So I'm going to add some more live stuff to that and you get everything because you're already in it. Everyone who's already in it gets lifetime access to everything. Other people love love it. Uh, you're that, that the gift that keeps on giving, (laughs) We bought it once and it keeps on coming. <laughs> Literally. And it's like so many people were like, no, like give them limited access. And I'm like, I don't want to because there's so much in there that there's no way like listening to the transmissions, like once you can get everything, like there's only so much you can take in. And I want people to have ac- a- access to the activations forever. You know what I mean? So it's like, how can I just touch more people? And I'll have other offerings for the people who are already in those ones. I mean, I have them all the time. Some of them are in person and some of them are virtual, but it's like, I really want people to have lifetime access to it and to like be rewarded for like taking action. Anything I add, like as I add more, I will adjust the energy exchange for those coming in, but everyone who's already in it, that's going to be like, they're in it for life. And I don't know. I just, that's what feels good to me. Have you heard of uh, give to give, not give to get? Give to give, not give to get. So what you're doing, you're giving just to give, like from the goodness of your heart. Some people just give expecting something in return, you know, like more money or more other, but you're like a gift to give. You don't need you. If you're a gift to give person, you're always going to get back everything like multiplied and then through other channels. Can't even imagine where you're, you're because you're a gift, gift to give person. Just that's all you do. Like I'm a gift to give person. I, whatever I do, I don't think about getting back. It yeah. doesn't matter because it will come back in ways you cannot even imagine because you're a gift to give person. And it always does. I've experienced. It never so- fails. Just like it's a hundred, a hundred percent coming back to you. Whatever you give it will come. But the good thing it's coming back multiplied, mm-hmm. multiplied. Everything we do, everything I do, everything, everything I give or do for somebody, I I don't, and, and I, you don't think about it. You just do it. And you don't yeah. think, oh, when is this thing going to come back to me? No. Again, kind of like the other thing, you know, uh, set it and forget it. You just do it, but you don't think about where it's coming from. Yeah. And then when it comes back and it comes back multiplied, I'm like, oh my God, I just did this a week ago I gave this and I did that for that person or I paid for that person at the restaurant or I paid for somebody's groceries or I did something good but I never thought about it in the moment yeah how is this going to come back and when it came back multiply and sometimes 10 to 20 x right yeah mind-blowing stuff literally and it's like oh there's so much here um I'll be I'll be concise but firstly that is true giving a gift that you give. You never expect anything back. I never give anything anymore. Like maybe when I was younger, but not since I've really been in this work, I never give anything like expecting somebody to be obligated to give me something back. I don't even like, I don't even accept gifts like that anymore because I'm like, that's not a gift. That's manipulation. When you truly give it's from your heart. And it's like, here, I want your life to be amplified. I'm experiencing so much that I want yours to be amplified. And then it always comes back in some way, shape or form. You're so right. And then also, and and you don't know how. This Um, is a big one. This is a big one for people to get. It's a huge one. 
Huge one. It's, if you get this piece out of this whole podcast, huge. Always give to give. And it's like when people give to me, I just want to give more to them. Like I'm helping somebody with some marketing stuff right now. I don't even like marketing, but I'm like, they've done so much for me that I'm like, I just want to help you. And I want to help your mission. They're like, maybe I'll hire you. I'm like, I don't want you to hire me. I just want to help you with this and help the people who are doing it for you because yeah. you've helped me so much. And it's just like, and it's like, you're filling someone else's cup and they're filling yours where we have to watch out is when people try and just take, 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 that's actually where poverty comes from is like trying to get something for nothing. That energy is like, just be conscious of it. Cause that is draining your life force energy. You want to be around people that give from a place of purity and wholeness. Um, and then it's so crazy because give to give is when you said that, I was like, that's Dr. Joe Dispenza's foundation. It's called the give to give foundation. <laughs> but now I get why it's called that. And there's a book. It's called the go giver. Oh. excellent read if you want it's it's about this about just giving without expecting anything it's called the go-giver I don't know okay. the author but it's called the go-giver and this is like a thing for relationships too um I think some people are like what are you going to give to me what am I going to get from you mm -hmm. and it's like that's no that's not when you're whole and complete you don't need anybody to give you anything. You don't, when your cup is, you don't need anything from anyone. You are absolutely, you know, when you self love, you do the self love and you're already full. You don't need anything from anybody. Absolutely. And everything's just extra. And then ironically, yeah. people give you more, <laughs> more love, more gifts, more abundance. It's like, oh, thank you. And then you're in gratitude even more and it just amplifies. And then you give more and, and that is the new earth. And that's what I see. And I'm going to hold you in that vision of your book being done. <laughs> helping so many people. You know, when you went through a lot of healing, I went, we went through a lot of healing, both of us. So they said, and this is another powerful one. When you, when your outer world reflects your inner world, right? You talk about that too. Whatever's going on inside of you, it's going on outside of you. So if you constantly find yourself in turmoil and negativity and people attracting the wrong crowd, there's something inside of you, right? So once you, we heal the inside and your courses help with that, you have many courses that help with that, um, right? Yeah. Uh, when you start healing on the inside, you will notice that the outside starts shifting and people around you and, and even your family members, your husband, your wife, your kids, they all start shifting. And you're like, what happened with them? No, nothing happened to them. You started healing inside of you and you're reflecting that into the people around you. Yeah. And now they're, they're acting different. They're more loving towards you. Like it's totally different life. <laughs> And even the ones who have known you forever, like there's one family member of mine who I always felt like disrespected me and all this stuff. And I was also afraid of them. And now it's like, I'm like, whoa, they respect me so much. And we're able to have like because loving. You heal that part of, um, of yeah. the relationship. Yeah. Literally. I, I think this was a huge one for me. Huge, huge. When I, when I learned that whatever was going on inside of me and I had no idea about healing, didn't know a few years ago until I started this work, but now I'm like, wow, the more I heal, the more my world around me is like pure and beautiful uh, and loving and joyful and whatever, all these uh, higher vibrations. And if something is going around me that, that it's not in alignment with me, I ask myself, what is it going on inside of me at this moment that is bringing this around me? So I didn't, I reflect inside and do a meditation. Yeah. One of your activations <laughs> that I have for a lifetime. <laughs> yes. So, so funny because like, like the triggers, I pulled a few cards for one of my clients today before a session or during a session, I guess I was like, go to the shadow activation. I was like, have you done it? She's like, no. Yeah. Uh, I was like, you need to do it. I pulled this card and I'm like, because your power is in there and the triggers mm -hmm. are not outside of you. They're within you. So, but, but your you shadow. Yes. Whoa. This work. That was a huge one for me from your course. Like 
all your power is in your shadow. All your triggers are like good things. I was like, what? Why triggers good thing for me? You know, <laughs> of course I learned. <laughs> Literally. So, yeah, if you guys want, like get into her courses. She's amazing. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure. Start with one because you can't help it. Like you'll go to the next one and the <laughs> next one. And I don't know what else she's got cooking, but yeah. <laughs> I, have a few. I had no idea you had a podcast until recently. <laughs> yeah, I just restarted it. Uh, my One of my mentors, Dr. Connolly, was kind of my inspiration to do so. I was like, maybe I'll have him on. I need to get help him sure. spread this message to more and more. Like he works mostly with deep trauma, but so more like mental health practitioners, but also now like coaches are taking his courses. And I was like, I think we need to, like, I would love to have him on. And then, so, and then I was like, oh, there's so many people who had so many amazing wins. Like, let's get them on and share this message and share their work too with the world. So you're not saying I had the most, but you're saying I had the most. <laughs> but, I mean, there is no the way. Because there, you can have a lot, but some of them are blown away. Like, literally, even for me. Yeah. For me was like, uh, yeah. Now I'm it's like, yeah, I, I know that. I knew that. I'm, I'm, ex I feel it. So I'm like so in tune and do hmm, nothing really surprised. Like they do surprise me, but it's still, yeah, I knew that. That's who I am. That's it. <laughs> of course it happens. Super cool. But of course, yeah, of course. especially and when you said, just, you will not believe this and those four words, you will not believe this. Those five words, my husband, I love that. this. I love I that. Do. I do. <laughs> I'm glad you see it now. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Daniela. Yeah. Please send me that video when you have um, any, any, I don't know if you're planning on doing courses that just came through or anything. I would love to link it in the show notes as well. So I've been know. looking for, for that. Yeah. Yes. yeah. I've been looking love for to courses. You uh, transformation is my passion. So mm -hmm. And you discovered that a few years ago. So you're gonna help so many people. I mean, you already are just with your presence and who you be, but in your courses or one on one coaching or however that manifests, you're gonna help so many people. I'm excited. Yes. Excited for yes. so, okay. So is it. So will be. <laughs> so it is. Thank you so much. I love you so Bye. much. I'm so grateful Thank to have you. met you and to have you courses and i can't wait to meet you in person soon yes when you come to arizona you can we'll meet we'll schedule yeah. it so exciting big hug right. love you bye bye